Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Myself, Dr. Madhuri Shinwaj, your dermatology educator. So just believe in yourself, even if you don't. At least pretend that you do, because at some point you will finally start believing yourself. Okay, all that needs is a little bit of patience and also courage. So this is our today's MCQ. Not true about angioedema. So you need to identify the incorrect statement. And if you have answered it as option number D, then you are right. So. Let us see few points about the angioedema, which is very important histamine-related uh, disorder in dermatology. So, option A says it is C1 esterase inhibitor deficiency can lead to angioedema. This is absolutely right statement, right? Yes, there is one form of angioedema which is called as hereditary angioedema. Hereditary angioedema. Yes, we, uh, in which we can see C1 esters inhibitor deficiency. And uh, yes, angioedema or angioneurotic edema, it is known as Quinkes disease. This statement is also right. And option C, presence as angioedema without wheels and itching. Yes, this statement is also right. In fact, the characteristic of uh, this angioedema is that there is going to be edema, which is going to be non-pitting edema. Non-pitting edema which will not be associated with any wheels as we see in urticaria. Urticaria has these wheels and in urticaria we have itching whereas in angioedema there will not be any itching. So there will not be any wheels, there will not be any pitting and there will not be any itching in the case of angioneurotic edema and option D obviously is wrong. Why? Because I have already told you that angioedema is associated with non-pitting type of edema. But here it is mentioned as pitting edema. So this is the false statement. So if you look at the clinical images of the patient, if uh, they come to our, uh, you know, uh, they come to us for the diagnostic purposes, you can clearly observe that there can be sw uh, swollen eyelids and also there can be very characteristically swollen lips. And uh, one more question actually, uh, of the track from angioedema so over this patient's lips you are able to see some fine asymptomatic yellow dots okay so can anyone of you tell me what is this uh, condition where we can get to see ectopic sebaceous glands being present over the lips so all i want is what is the name of this diagnosis very very important uh, from your dermatology pg entrance point of view so in this basic uh, hereditary angioedema, which is autosomal dominantly inherited, so there is going to be C1 esterase inhibitor deficiency because of which ultimately what will happen, there is going to be elevated levels of bradykinin due to various mechanisms. We are not going to go into the details of that, but because of this bradykinin elevate, elevation, there is going to be in the uh, cutaneous, we can see non-pitting type of edema which you are able to see and not only skin but also bowels can also get uh, edema because of which abdominal pain that is abdominal cramps can be there and not only that this condition can become life threatening if in case there is edema of the larynx. So this is a, a medical emergency at uh, in few cases. So if we do diagnostic workup, we can identify that C1 stress levels can be reduced and also not only that because of the complement system being overactive there can be increased consumption that can lead to reduce a c4 complement c4 levels so in the treatment we are going to uh, treat the patient in acute phase with uh, a airway maintenance and along with that yes we can give the aggregate c1 stress inhibitor but that is a costly affair so we can even give fresh frozen plasma and for the maintenance purposes of this patient, we can uh, make use of the anabolic steroids which are danazole, stanozole and also plasminogen inhibitor can be used which is tranexamic acid which is uh, routinely used in the gynec department actually and also calicrine inhibitor, ecalantide can also be used. So there is one more question for all of you, bradykinin receptor antagonist, there is one drug which is going to act against this bradykinin receptors. So can any one of you tell what is the name of this medication this medication very very important and this is going to be the tomorrow's question so if in case you know please try to answer in the comment section okay so that is uh, it about in this angioedema if you have any doubts any queries you can let me know in the comment section and yes if you are not yet following me on uh, telegram just scan this with your mobile phone you will be taken to this uh, broad link in which you can join me in various uh, channels and uh, the link for uh, the disc uh, link for all these is going to be there in the description just click on that and you can join 
and any specific topic you want me to discuss related to dermatology you can please leave it in the comment section i will be watching uh, i will be checking out the comment section and i thank you so much for watching this video till here if you wish to watch more of these derma related videos please do subscribe the link will be there here and uh, my previous videos can be watched at this pace okay i thank you so much happy learning dermatology survey jana sukino bantu bye bye